Good afternoon and welcome to the appointment subcommittee meeting of the uh, date of September 16, 2013. Before us, we have two uh, applicants for various positions. The first being is the appointment of Nicholas Rystrom as a city engineer in accordance with section 2-48-010 of the revised ordinances of the city of Revere. Hi, Nick, come, please come to the podium and state your name and address for the record, please. Nicholas Rystrom. Nic Nicholas Rystrom, 53 Genesee Street. Well, welcome, Nick, to the appointment subcommittee, and you're trying out our new uh, audio system for the first time, so I have, I'm trying it out with you, so uh, you, there's no need to speak loud. You can hear every, every pin drop now with this new system. Is there any questions from the members of the uh, subcommittee? Councilor Criggio. Thank you, uh, Chairman Granasso. I'll just be very brief. Uh, Basically, what experience uh, you have, have you worked in uh, other cities or other areas of engineering? Can you just you know, explain a little bit about experience where you've been working? Absolutely. Uh, for the past uh, 10 years prior to um, my employment here at the city, I worked with uh, two different uh, civil engineering firms where we did a lot of work uh, with infrastructure development um, and also development related to uh, residents um, subdivisions uh, which included water sewer drain and things like that um, also uh, part of that was some experience um, in the telecom industry um, it limited however um, that was more of a project management role uh, well thank you very much uh you explained yourself very well, and uh, I will be supporting you and uh, welcome aboard. Thank Be you very much. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Council Patch. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just want to say that um, in the past, uh, working with Nick, uh, he's been always available uh, whenever I needed him, and uh, he'd, he'd, uh, he'd meet me at locations. Uh, uh, I think the, uh, it's good for the city uh, uh, that we uh, vote in favor of this, uh, which I know we're going to anyways, but I mean, uh, I just want you to know that uh, he's done a fine job since he's been here in Revere. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Council Powers. <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Nick, uh, as you know, I've had occasion to come into your office uh, many times. I've always found you to be very knowledgeable and informative and uh, always willing to help out with a problem. And uh, as you know, in my area, with regard to drainage, we have many problems down there. And uh, I want to publicly thank you for that. I want to uh, commend you for your excellent work over the past uh, year. And uh, I want to let you know that I certainly will be supporting you this evening for your uh, position for appointment. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Penta. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I echo the, the Councillor's book before me. Um, to my surprise, I didn't know Nick wasn't permanent. I was surprised you weren't. Um, you know, you've, been here, you've been here over a year, right? Well over a year. Over two. Over two years, yeah. So you've been on, with the city. And, and I've spoken to different department heads. I mean, Donnie Gould, I know you work along with him, and they all speak very highly of you. And, um, happy with the work you're doing. I, I'm looking forward to voting for you. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Reardon. Thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman. I, I echo my, the feelings of my, uh, my colleagues. I, I feel that you've been extremely responsive to us, uh, uh, always available, and that's the most important thing, and I know you're competent to do your job. Now, if we can just get that intersection of Central Ave and Broadway tweaked just a little bit more, I think we'll be there. So I'll be down to see you about that. Thank you. By the way, Nick's a constituent, so on Genesis. Thank you, Councillor. I had the experience of working with Nick over this past winter, and I found him to be a first-class, knowledgeable individual who knew uh, the letter of the law when it, the, the case we were working with, and certainly it was a pleasure to work with you in. Uh, I took this opportunity to showcase you somewhat because we could have pushed you through uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, without the citizens of Revere getting the opportunity to see who Nick Rystrom is and, and to get a, place a 
face with the, the with the department and with the name. So that's why uh, it was done this way, uh, and it's the protocol of the city council to do it this way. But I just thank you for the opportunity to for coming before us this afternoon. And uh, we have a couple other councils that are wishing to speak. Uh, Council President uh, Ira Novoselsky. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, um, I thank uh, Nick for coming up today, and uh, I know he's been on board for, let's just say, a year and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Wow, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> it does. Uh, but uh, I, you know, I can uh, vouch for for Nick. Uh, I've had many dealings with him. I just hope when we get to the top of Walnut Ave, we can solve that drainage down the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> See all this soft pedaling, everything's yeah. leading. It's all, it's all leading up, Nick, to a conclusion. That's it. You, it's a you, complaint. You, you understand that now, don't you? <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I do wish you well and, uh, and to be permanently on board, and uh, I think the city's going to be in good hands. Thank you. Thank you, good luck. Council President Nowazowski. Council Hass. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Nick, based on all the comments from my ward councilors, uh, you're doing a great job. And I'm just going to let my support later on in the evening to vote for your confirmation. Thank you. Thank you. Any other councilors wishing to speak? Seeing none, there's a motion on the floor. Motion on the floor is to approve all in favor, all opposed, so ordered. Nick, this will be voted out favorably before the Committee of the Whole this evening. There's no need to stay in attendance if you don't wish. It appears very strongly that you have the support of the council. And the only thing we can ask of you is to keep up the good work that you've been doing the last couple of years, and certainly the city of will be much better off for it. Thank you for your services. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Nick. The next order of business is the residency waiver of Kevin Sheehan, Library Director, in accordance with Section 2-06-060B of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Revere. State your name and address for the record, please. Kevin Sheehan, 29 Endley Avenue, Villarica, Mass. Any right. anyway, councilors wishing to speak? The, the, there is not a person in the count. Well, I can't let you go this easy. It was a lot easier than the waterboarding that was promised last time <laughs> I showed up. So yeah, we gave you a little bit of a torture <laughs> test prior to this. Yes, so and we, oh. we we thank you. We have one. Please, please, uh, Councillor Janino. Thank you. So I don't know if you wanted maybe take an opportunity to introduce yourself to everyone, maybe tell us about your background and how you got into a field like us. Sure. Um, well, uh, ever since I was a kid, I got my first library card, and you know, I thought I've always liked libraries because I was a, a person when I had a card. Couldn't drive or vote or do anything, but I had a library card, and I liked the assignments I had in class, the hunt for the information. Um, and then, actually, I guess that I, you know, in college, I enjoyed libraries as a quiet space. But really, when I, I spent after I graduated college, I, I considered entering the teaching field. And rather than pursue, sink all the time and money into a master's degree, I thought I'd see if I really liked teaching. So I went to Japan and I taught English as a second language for four years, four and a half years. And I really came to appreciate the value of libraries because there really weren't any accessible to me. I was spending lots and lots of money on newspapers and magazines and even materials for teaching my students ESL. So I really missed libraries. And having come back, I saw a lot of differences in libraries with the um, the consortial networks, like uh, the Revere Public Library is part of the Noble Net Network. So if you're looking for a book and the Revere Public Library doesn't own it, we can probably get it for you. So I really appreciate that. And I think libraries are, are essential for uh, people to improve themselves. That's why Andrew Carnegie, who gave the largest sum of the money for the building, uh, he funded libraries across the country because he himself, as an immigrant, uh, benefited from... Um, the use of libraries. Okay. Well, Kevin, now that we're here for a residency waiver, and you've had the opportunity to serve in our community for several months, have you ever thought about the idea of moving to our great city? Actually, I have. Uh, well, not, not seriously, because I'm still paying the mortgage, but, uh, and, and I, I like the neighborhood I, I live in, but I, I just... Um, I've seen the, the videos and having lived here, it reminds a lot of my hometown of Chicopee, Massachusetts. It seems, um, you know, there's the idea that everyone is separated by six degrees, when in Revere it seems like it's maybe two or three. And despite being from outside of Revere, I've 
received nothing but welcome and uh, support from everybody I, I've met, the general public and people I've worked with here in City Hall. Well, after the review that was often out by the library committee reviewing the applicants for the position, you certainly come very highly qualified and certainly the citizens of Revere will benefit from that. But we'd also would be beneficial to your presence in our community more if you would even think upon it. It's not a letter of condition because obviously you're getting to gain the waiver this evening. It appears that the council has uh, a vote, you know, going to vote favor we for this this evening. But we have one other council who wishes to speak, uh, Councillor Reardon. But I'll just be brief. Jesus. I'll just be brief about this. Um, and, and, when, and every time we ask, get asked for a waiver of the residency uh, stat uh, ordinance, it's, it's customarily given. And that's a good reason. There's a good reason for that. People in your capacity, with your education, your experience, you can't expect to, to find the best possible person in the city of $53,000. Yet, we constantly uh, seem to be giving lip service to this residence. I think, the, honestly, I think the residency uh, uh, ordinance needs to be amended so that people in administrative positions, high administrative positions within our city government are exempt from it automatically. I mean, I, I, I often uh, compare it to General Motors uh, insisting that the president or the chief executive officer live in Detroit. That's, that would be insane. So uh, I, I think that, that this is some food for thought on this person. And I wish you all the luck in the world. You sound extremely qualified. And I'll certainly be happy to uh, vote for you for the waiver of residence by, by all means. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Councillor. Councillor Hass. Thank you. Uh, Kevin, your background is very impressive. And to follow up in what uh, Councillor Redden says, uh, 13 applicants applied, not one from Revere. And I think we're making the right selection and selecting you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think the public should know also there's a different criteria. It's not just having an MS or a BS degree or a master's degree. You also have a, have a library uh, certificate is that of some sort? Yes, I do. The state certifies um, professional, offers a professional librarianship certificate for people who have an MLS. So that, that there in itself eliminates quite a few of the applicants because that really is a criteria. It's not a criteria of the city of Revere. It's a state uh, criteria. Isn't that correct? Uh, I, I believe it is in order to apply for grants. I, I think that they allow, I mean, they, there are library directors without the MLS, but they do get a waiver from the state just as I'm getting a waiver here. Right. right. And, and their capacity to apply for grants, as I understand, is limited. Well, we're, we're pleased to have you aboard, and, and obviously uh, the City Council seems very pleased with this, and the administration feels pleased, so everybody's happy. Now just go out and do a good job for our community and make us all happy again. Thank you. That's my thank, goal. Thank you, sir, for thank attending. You. That concludes the appointment subcommittee for the meeting of September 16, 2013. Thank you for your indulgence.